let's get into this right now with three people who are equally as concerned about what they've just heard. None other than uh, her colleague in the Senate, Pauline Hanson, her uh, uh, former colleague in the Senate, Corey Bernardi, and her future uh, colleague in the Senate for Services to Talking Points, Joe Hildebrand. Um, Joe, she is unlucky. She's terribly I mean, unlucky. The idea that and you would laugh... I mean, how dare you, how dare you laugh it's when she says something. she had a netball injury and her netball injury meant she couldn't walk in the Mardi Gras and when she rejoined it, a heterosexual police officer was in her direction, so she had to grab onto something which happened to be the road. I, I just want to know, how did she know he was heterosexual? Did he get her number or something? Who like, knows? This who? is amazing stuff. It's like she, she can read minds it's, now. Well, this, who knew? <laughs> Superpower. <laughs> She's she's the fourth Miss Marvel. She's, a, she's amazing. And again, I just I just hope her run of bad luck never runs out because mm. I just want to see this stuff going. She is Australia's answer to Meghan Markle. She has just got one thing to say. Everybody's racist. Everybody's out to get me. And the more stupid it sounds, the more ridiculous it sounds, and the more people point out that it's ridiculous. She says, "Well, this is just more, just more proof that you're all out to get me." Correct. And I just love it. I've never seen narcissism like it. Now, now, Corey, you also have a platform here at Sky News. There's also the Common Sense newsletter at Corey Bernardi. Uh, dot com and dot com dot au. Uh, if if her counsellor was unwilling to come on this program because of potential political differences or just uh, maybe unavailable at this time, would you be willing to speak to the counsellor for the entire hour that you have here at Sky News? Oh, of course, Paul. I think Good. everyone deserves a, a full examination of the issues that they're dealing with. And, and in my experience, Paul, I have to say this, that the unluckiest people in the world are those who are half Scottish, and that's what Lydia Thorpe is. So, um, she, has, she, uh, she has this burden that she's got to bear. The English don't like her much. They drummed her out, and she, she's reputedly very thrifty, apparently, the Scottish are. So she's got demons everywhere she's got to atone for, and uh, I'd like to help her air them in, uh, in the public forum. Pauline, what, what capacity is there in the Parliament for um, an inquiry into the, the, the endemic unfairness that this senator is, is constantly experiencing? <laughs> You're going to be kidding me, Paul. I've never heard such, so much bloody rubbish in all my life come out of her mouth and listen to that. I've never heard it before. Actually, she sits right beside me. If I put out my arm length, I could touch her. Um, that's how close she sits beside me. So I think I'd better leave a box of tissues there for her so she's feeling so sorry for herself, crying her own you know, tears. Um, Paul, you know, she is an, she's a nasty piece of work and, you know, on the floor of Parliament, um, she said to me, go back where you came from. She's called Malcolm Roberts, another fellow in the Senate. You, you're um, privileged white guys. Um, she's had a go at Holly Hughes. She's calling out me racist all the time to me. She's calling me a racist without having to look at herself. I was there when she actually um, bombarded that um, uh, Kelly at uh, that women's meeting. I was standing right there watching it going on. She was just determined to actually ram into her and the police got her before she actually reached her. Um, she's an ag aggressive, um, nasty. She will not bring people together. She's dividing people. She's a black activist and she has no intentions. And you can see it when she got sworn into parliament. Her whole attitude, she sa has said she's, she's there to infiltrate the parliament and push her own agenda. And that's what she's there for. And it's a real shame because she leaves a... Um, you know, um, a mark on just about all senators, I think, with her attitude, because people saying, well, is that what we've got in the Senate? And uh, it's, it's wrong, because most of us are there for the right reasons to do what we can for the country. Yeah, and just a reminder, if you want to uh, no celebrate Wallace, the unfortunateness <laughs> of this situation, you can do so in sticker form. Check out uh, Pauline's Facebook page for all of that. It's, uh, it is just a uh, unfortunate... <laughs> well, uh, why does she always end up on the ground? Well, <laughs> I just, I still just can't. The netball injury. It's, it's, it's the netball injury. Net the, 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 the netball ankles. Got, this is a chronic a, condition. Why isn't she a Scottish nationalist? Why isn't she out there, you know, with Nicola Sturgeon, you know, gunning for a second referendum, you know? Right. Why do we have to deal with her with our referendum and not them? I, I'm with you. All right. So, now, look, while that is the major issue is today... Big. 
I, yeah, I, uh, Corey, please. The, 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 the last word, please. I, I was just going to... I was just going to... I just want to go back to this whole Greece thing. She's obviously traumatised by trying to be Olivia Newton-John in Grease Lightning back when mm. she was five or something. Mm. There's... There's so many issues here to unpack. We need that psychologist on, <laughs> but like, on board. Is that why she Full-time had to go to the staffer. strip club? Was the strip club doing grease lightning? Who, who because knows? if there were polls yeah, involved, that been. is an occupational safety hazard. Look, certainly I know the determination about whether I go to a birthday party or not, whether I want to, as I go, OK, we dressed up like Han Solo when we were five. We've got to do it, you know, just <laughs> honouring the culture. So.